Hey guys, welcome to a new season of Minecraft Block Review. It's been almost a year since we concluded last season with the snow block. And we're back at it. There's going to be a couple of changes this year. The rating system, rather than just having one big rating at the end, we will have four different categories. That being obtaining, usage, sounds and appearance, and miscellaneous and at the end all the scores will get added together to result in a final score so without further ado let's see what today's block is that's right folks today we got the diamond block suggested by Ravant Mahankali last season thank you very much for your contribution if you want to see a block reviewed, please leave a comment, and I will potentially choose your block. To get things started, we have just a little bit of uh, ground knowledge, I guess. So, the diamond block is not renewable. It has a stack size of 64. You need an iron pickaxe or higher to break it. It has a blast resistance of 6. A hardness level of 5, it is not luminant, nor transparent, nor flammable. To begin our first category of obtaining, we will be analyzing the speeds at which the diamond block breaks. With your fists, you can break the diamond block at a speed of 25, and as you can see it's still going, it takes quite a while. With, to break with your fist, you're going to want a tool. And not only that, but you're going to want at least an iron tool as we saw earlier. There we go, we broke it, but no block drop. With the wooden pickaxe, we have a speed of 12.5. It's double the speed of breaking with your fist, but still quite slow, and you will not get a block again. The stone pickaxe, we have a speed of 6.25 record speed as you can see but again no block as we get to gold we have a much faster speed of 2.1 however still no block now we, if you've been paying attention boom we have our first block with the iron pickaxe which broke at a speed of 1.25 the diamond pickaxe breaks at a speed of 0.95 and the netherite at 0.85. If you enchant these, you can get it to go faster. Next up on the obtaining list is its craftability. If you take nine diamonds in a crafting table, you can create a block of diamond. That's right. However, this requires going mining first, which may take a while. This room right here is called an obsidian room. In the center of this obsidian structure is a block of diamond. Not very efficient if you are looking for many, but it does exist. Along with the obsidian room, there are lava rooms in Woodland Mansion. However, I could not find one. So here's an image on screen instead. This brings us to our rating for the obtainability for the diamond block being 4 out of 10. First up on our usage category is the use of beacons. If you create a pyramid like structure using at least a 3x3 going down as far as you'd like, you can activate a beacon using diamonds. That's right, pretty cool stuff. Next up, you can use blocks of diamonds to craft diamonds. Yes, that's right. It goes both ways, which that can be helpful, I guess. Now, one of the biggest uses for the diamond block is that you don't want to have a chest full of normal diamonds. It'll fill up so fast if you have a lot of diamonds. So what you can do with them instead is you can craft some diamond blocks using your diamonds to store instead. Now instead of having 9 stacks of diamonds, you only took up 1 stack. 
of a block of diamond. You can get a lot more space out of that. Putting all these into account, we can see that our usage score is 3 out of 10. Yeah, not too much to use it for. However, it can be helpful for storage. You've seen the appearance of the diamond block throughout this video, but here are the sounds. Overall, the diamond block has a very nice appearance and the sounds are relatively pleasant. So we are giving it a 9 out of 10 in the sounds and appearance category. Now for the miscellaneous facts. The ID of the diamond block is diamond underscore block. This can be used to give yourself a diamond block in creative mode or to place it whatever you want. Originally, diamond blocks were not called diamond blocks, they were in fact called emerald blocks. This was the very early days of Minecraft. However, this name was quickly changed to diamond blocks. Over the years, the diamond has had many different textures, including a few that never made it into the game, but were teased via tweets. Here are them all on screen now. A fun fact is that the diamond texture is actually the same as the gold block, but instead of yellow, it's blue. For our final rating on the miscellaneous section, we are giving it a 5 out of 10. Some very neat facts, although not a whole lot. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our final rating for the diamond block. The first block of season two. This will be setting the precedent for the rest of the season. The final rating for the diamond block is... 5.25 out of 10. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to see the other block reviews. Remember to leave a comment if you want a specific block reviewed and yeah thank you for coming out i will see you in the next video